The Nobel Prize is the most prestigious award on the planet. An 18 karat gold coin, a diploma and a million dollars prize money. Nothing gets bigger than this. But do you know the genesis of Nobel Prize was a fake news published in a newspaper? Here is the crazy story. There is 1888. It's a beautiful morning in Sweden. Alfred Nobel, who is by now one of the richest people in the world, wakes up to his usual bed and morning newspaper. He was about to get the biggest shock of his life as he picked up that newspaper a shock that will change his destiny forever and how the world will remember him more than 100 years after his death alfred was a scientist and an accomplished inventor he had 355 different patents to his name but the thing he got known for most was the invention of dynamite the blasting agent it proved to be one of the most crucial inventions of the industrial age it made difficult work easy like building bridges roads ports and towns when he was not busy inventing things alfred loved to read literature he was proud of his accomplishments and contributions to the progress of human in kind but the invention of dynamite had a dark side effect because dynamite was also used as a deadly weapon our time countries in europe realized that this is a potent weapon of mass destruction it made killing people easy less effort more blood and more destruction but alfred still felt that history will not judge him harshly it was not up to him if people use his invention as a means to kill each other as he was sipping his tea glancing at the major headlines of the day his eyes catch a horrible news in the obituary section he is so shocked that he almost spills the tea finding it difficult to believe his eyes he was reading his own obituary but his shock soon turned into anger and then his anger into sadness as he reads the title of the obituary the merchant of death is dead it described him as a contaminated soul with a shameful legacy a greedy and a moral man someone who became wealthy by selling people tools for destroying each other it was nothing like how he thought of himself and his inventions it shook him to the core this is not how he imagined people will remember him after his death although the newspaper had mixed up the news of his elder brother's death who died of a recent heart attack it put things in perspective for alfred nobel he made up his mind nobody knew what he was up to until he actually died a Eight years later, when his will was read, he had donated all his wealth to the formation of a trust. Instead of leaving his fortune to his family, the trust had to establish a set of prizes. He left his legacy as a man who founded what became known throughout the world as the Nobel Prize. Every year, these prizes are awarded for those making the greatest contributions towards the betterment of mankind in the preceding years in the fields of physics. chemistry medicine literature and peace